Hello everybody, this is Yanka from Candy Candles, the YouTube channel where we learn how to make creative candles. So today I'm showing you how I make my French fling <laughs> candle for my Etsy shop. Let's dive into it. Here I already uh, placed my wick. I use a cotton wick from uh, Luxury Candle Supply. And uh, I'm deciding what type of um, embed I wanna, I wanna use. So I have this silicone mold that I got from, hmm, I think Amazon. And then I've got this one that is um, the Tour Eiffel, Eiffel Tower, and I have my lips. So I want to create like a romantic and sexy and very feminine <laughs> candle. So I've melted already my wax, which like when it's melted, it, it looks purple to me, but then it will, it will become very pink, hot pink. So I'm puring my um, wax into my uh, silicone molds and always remember to use the right type of, of wax. This is a paraffin one because I don't really like frosting on my candles and that's what happened with uh, with soy but you can use a soy wax it's, it's not an issue it's not an issue it's really up to you so now I'm puring puring this yeah I missed a little bit there so I'm puring again and in this mold I'm gonna pure into the heart and there is the other one like at, at the end it's like a, I don't know if you can see probably not <laughs> it's like a couple like there's a square I'll show you later but it's like a square and then a couple uh, so uh, I decided to try that one so the next step is to use my heat gun to heat up my my glass this is very important please don't skip because I, I never used to do this I started maybe I don't know not long ago a couple of weeks ago it makes so much difference seriously to my candle looks so much better so I, I heat it up a little bit a couple of minutes my vessel now I'm puring my my wax which this is um, container wax I'm not using the same wax as I'm using for the the embed so this is a container wax and it looks I don't know it looks <laughs> very light and I actually, ah, these are my labels that I made. And uh, yeah, this is the little one that I'm gonna put on the glass. And to be honest, I didn't know it was gonna come so pink, like a very hot pink, as you can see. I thought it was gonna be, um, because I just put a drop of pink. But uh, to be honest, at the end, I like it. I really like it like that. I think it's good for this type of candle, like for the feeling that I want to give with this candle. And I forgot to say, the fragrance is um, strawberry champagne, so a very romantic fragrance, I will say. <laughs> so I'm taking out my my lips. <laughs> that sounds weird, but <laughs> now I'm taking out my uh, Tour Eiffel or Eiffel Tower. How the English would say <laughs> and guys if you're new to my channel channel hello welcome don't forget to like this video leave me a comment let me know if you like this candle if you're gonna make it and um, if you like the pink or you think it will be better like a less pink <laughs> no like a light pink and yeah I post videos every week about um, creative candle making so I would love for you if you can if you want to stick around you know subscribe and click the bell uh, button so you get notified every time that I post because I like to make you know creative uh, candles and like we can learn together so this can you see yeah the couple there in my embed and this is the heart what I was wondering when I was taking my embed out I'm thinking there might be some paraf uh, sorry some palm wax in my paraffin wax because it feel like it feels like there's like some crystals with, which is um, typical of um, of the 
palm wax so I'm gonna ask Aussie Kinder Supply because I got this uh, this wax from Aussie Kinder Supply I wanna email them and ask if there is um, if there is palm wax anyways now I'm cleaning my Tour Eiffel and here I melted already I didn't show in camera but I melted my um, yellow wax for the top part for the whipped part and I'm uh, using my hand mixer to whip it it takes I don't know maybe it took uh, here's still too liquidy but it took maybe a couple of minutes not too long it's not much wax to be honest and um, what I'm doing from seriously from the last video so it's been maybe I don't know a couple of days I'm doing a different technique for when I put my wax in the in my piping bag and I'm using the the clear wrap just because it keeps my um, I said in the other video I don't know if you if you watch that but it um, it keeps my piping bag so much cleaner so I just you know throw away the the the, the clear wrap and uh, yeah the piping bag is has just a little bit of wax at the tip part of course but that's it so I really like this method and it, it's good that my wax is a little bit more uh, liquidy let's say because you know it takes time <laughs> I'm pretty slow now but it takes time for me to um, just put it into onto the the clear wrap and place you know and uh, just wrap it that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> slowly slowly <laughs> yeah now i'm just wrapping it you know around turn it yes and then i'm just gonna cut one um, like one side with my scissors and my wax is um, is very soft I'm using uh, it's I make my own blend and I'm using paraffin soy and coconut wax so if you're using maybe a harder wax uh, I don't know you have to try candle making and creative candle making as well it's all about uh, trying experimenting and that's what I that's why I open my this YouTube channel because because I love to uh, experiment new things with uh, with candles so for my the type of wax that I wax that I'm using it's um, it's good it works because it's very soft so see now I'm putting into the um, piping bag And always remember, um, don't put the first. Uh, yeah, always try it in, into maybe like I'm doing on a on a spoon or something else in another surface because you don't want to. Maybe it might be too liquidy or might be too hard, so it doesn't come nicely, you know. So now I'm choosing which I was supposed to do a little bit before, but it's all right. <laughs> I'm choosing the decoration that I want to put, and I'm putting again yeah, the. To refill and then a heart and um, a pair of lips <laughs> I don't think I picked the, the big ones because they're too big but yeah and I'm putting on the outside of the the candle so you can see see and I don't know if you know this but there's no um, it doesn't have wet spots which is really good because with this uh, paraffin um, it's a mine it's a blend but it still has paraffin and uh, usually shrinks so it can have if I, I didn't heat up my vessel I would have a lot of wet spots and now I'm just doing the yeah piping my wax and <laughs> the yellow and this is the technique that I'm doing for this one little I call them little poop <laughs> <laughs> there's a more professional name but 
I think it looks cute, but sorry for the mess at the in the background, but again I always say I'm learning to make I know how to make candles and creative candle making and stuff but I still have to learn how to make <laughs> professional uh, videos for my YouTube I'm very new with uh, yes, with, with uh, filming videos but yeah that's what I'm doing maybe you can hear my cat my cat in the background she wants to come in <laughs> Then I'm putting the yellow wax, uh, sorry my cat, I'm putting the yellow wax uh, on top of my embed as well. Yeah, now it's time to trim the wick. I always keep the part that I that I cut off because I can reuse that wick. Don't waste it, please. <laughs> Cleaning the the vessel and my lid because, as you guys know, I I have three labels. So one goes on the lid, one on the box, and one goes on the on my glass And because I always use uh, the lid for my candles that I sell on Etsy, I have to make sure that, um, that like the wax is low enough so I can put the lid. And that's where I put my the label. I wanted to cover that part. If there is like a side, you know, that I don't really like, I just cover it with the label. So that's why I'm checking. So I'm putting the, the label there too yes how cute it is i love it <laughs> very feminine <laughs> very sexy i would say too <laughs> and the, the scent is amazing so this is my box and this is the label that i'm gonna place on my box Now I'm taking my ribbon because I always put ribbons on the on the boxes and I wanted to do on camera but it was too hard so no I didn't <laughs> but yeah guys this is the the candle uh, thank you so much for watching let me know what you think if you like it and I will see you in my next project ciao